And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later there for some Bant Super Friend action. So as you can see here, we have lots of different Planeswalkers. Um, six? Yeah, six to be exact. Jace Cunning Castaway, Dovin Grand Arbiter, Karn Scion of Urza, Tezzeret Artifice Master, Teferi Hero of Dominaria, and Dovin Architect of Law. Um, so basically our goal with this deck is to use our early turns um, with to ramp with the help of Land War Elf and Grow Spiral. I also have this Gift of Paradise chilling in here too for that. And then mid game we start dropping our Planeswalkers. Um, and then the late game we can Kamal's Druidic Vow to get a whole bunch of Planeswalkers. Basically, this is, we're playing an Oath of Teferi deck here, and uh, this is a card that um, I've played a lot of Legendary decks, and I know a lot of y'all have been like, "Hey, what about Oath of Teferi? Can we play an Oath of Teferi?" And I've never like really wanted to play one, but I decided, you know what? Let's try to build a deck kind of around Oath of Teferi and play a ton of Planeswalkers for it. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Um, I'm playing Cleansing Novas. I originally like. I, I played like a, a, a few games with this actually earlier today because I built this earlier today and played a, a few matches with it. Um, I was originally trying Urza's Ruinous Blast, but then I realized that without like creatures to help protect my Planeswalkers or anything, I, it was hard for me to untap with the Planeswalkers when, when the opponent have, would have a lot of creatures and the blast just wasn't reliable. So we're going Cleansing Nova. So besides being able to destroy all creatures that like Cleansing Nova can do, the other cool thing with destroying all artifacts and enchantments actually comes up a, an, an okay amount because of this, these Wilderness Reclamation decks. Like, blowing up Sertra's Kanta and Wilderness Reclamation of your opponent is, you know, something you really want to be doing. So, that's what we got. Uh, sideboard is very generic. I have uh, anti-aggro Shalai and Lyra's and Tristani, just all anti-aggro. Um, Knight of Autumn's also anti-aggro. Uh, and also blows up enchantments uh, for for the uh, Wilderness Reclamation decks and then negates for control. So it's kind of just like my sideboard. It's just like anti-aggro anti and then some anti-control stuff. Very, very simple. Let's give it a try. We may not win very much. But maybe we will. Who knows? Just want to have Oath of Teferi in play um, with other you know, with Planeswalkers and stuff, and activating our Planeswalkers multiple times. That's really all we want. Um, I wasn't really able to do that earlier in my, my first couple matches, so that's the goal. Oath of Teferi and play with a Planeswalker. At least one Planeswalker. Yeah, St. Trish, you can have you can put your list in chat and see if anybody can help get you some input in the chat. I'm sure somebody will probably help you out a little bit. Hello. Oh no. That is. Terramander is very scary. I don't think we're gonna beat. I don't think we're gonna be very successful against Mono Blue, to be fair. Oh my gosh. I need to play the forest for Escanta. Wow, I just messed that up. So I get for multitasking. Well, it didn't have anything to do the next turn anyway, but we would have at least ditched the Karn. But... Coming in right in time, Land War Elf. Right in time. Right on time. I will fight for my friends. Tezzeret would actually be really good if we get to resolve Tezzeret. Oh, the, yes, this deck is very slow, yes. Yeah, we're we're a very slow, janky deck. I mean, I be especially without having our land war elves and growth spirals early on. You 
you were foolish to come. <laughs> I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. There's not Ruinous Blast in the deck, but I, I do have four Cleansing Novas. So Cleansing Novas could destroy all the creatures. If we draw any of our Cleansing Novas. See if they just activate the Terramander. Okay, so now they're keeping their mana up. Played the Sun Pellow Grove and played around Spell Pierce. All right, we'll see if we. I made you. Again. We have like one draw to draw Cleansing Nova here. See if we draw Cleansing Nova. We're down to two. We're actually, if we draw Cleansing Nova, we can win this. Cleansing Nova. Cleansing Nova. You're still one step behind. Uh, we're pretty far behind. I think we're a little bit more than one step. We did see a lot of cards, you know, like including the Karn tick up and everything. We did see a lot of cards that were not Cleansing Nova. Alright, Lyra's, Shalai's, Negates. Um, fortunately, we can just kind of trim our top end. Against Mono Blue, we don't get to really take advantage of all these cool cards. <laughs> Jace just isn't. Yeah, they, they have flyers, unfortunately, so I, I don't think we want Jace. I need to trim these fives. I don't know what I want to take out. I like Tezzeret. I guess I... Maybe I take out one Nova, since we have these creatures in. I'll take a Karn out. It's a little faster. What do I want to do on turn two? As Kanta or, or Spiral? I guess probably as Kanta. Yeah, probably as Kanta. We want to look for Shalai and Lyra and stuff like that. I guess we do need another white source for Lyra, though. All that mana. Yeah, you can still do yeah, you can still do the two the next turn either way. 
Um, All right, I'll trade Dovin for a negate. Yeah, you have had some success with Dovin, Architect of Law. So the good news about this card is it would let me pay for a Spell Pierce. But I'm still going to ditch it. We'll just draw a different land. All right, then we get to play Cleansing Nova. It's probably the most important. They don't have like a third negate, right? Hmm. I'm gonna do Karn so I can activate his Kanta also. We'll see if they have that third negate. I will defend my you may regret that choice. Oh yeah, they could have Wizards of Tort, that's true. I hope they don't get to activate this Terramander. They activate the Terminator, we're dead. That's three spells. That's seven. Can't quite activate the Terramander. Oh, good, he's doing on three lands and a couple of uh, diddly creatures. Well, that's... To be fair, that's exactly what Mono Blue wants. To be fair. Alright, let's tick up. Cause I... How convenient. An excellent choice. Alright, so I think we're going to shock in here. If we shock, we're dead to a trickster. If we don't shock, we're dead to uh, counterspell plus spell pierce. You know, because we can, so basically if we shock, we can we can play around, like, negate, like, if they have, like, you know, negate plus spell pierce. Alright, I guess I'm going to die if they have counter magic plus spell pierce. I think it's more likely they have a trickster than, than the two. They could just have oh. So maybe they do have the two counter spells and I need to shock. I guess I guess they have the two. It's a tough call. That was a really tough call. You know, if they had like the two counter spells with one of them being spell pierce, lose to that or lose to trickster. And they had they had the two counter spells with one of them being spell pierce. It just happened to both be spell pierces. Mono blue is very very good against five CMC dot dot deck, which is what I have here. Like their deck's just good against mine. It's kind of you know. Our deck's a janky deck for a reason, you know? Mm. Turn one, Elf. Turn two, Spiral. Turn three, Dovin. Can I play this on turn four? I just to have some other lands underneath here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't like shocking there? I know, because not only did we die the Trickster on that turn, but then just like other turns, we're just like pretty dead to a Trickster, because I don't have instant speed stuff. Um, Blood Crypt, huh? I, I look forward to another your success. We would have the the following turn though, you know, we would have gotten gone and gotten July. Um, but yeah. It's gonna be tough. Duba High Rule, four months already. Thank you so much. Hmm. Shit. You're doing me a favor. Thanks, Steve Hyrule. Thanks for that resub there. Jund Warriors. So the problem with the trade is it, it does grow the Pelt Collector, but, you know get the growth chamber guardian out of there I am master of machines not just a gadget but ingenuity all right we're crappy little one one dot one one thopter tokens dot deck oh no that is brutal for no. you we're crappy little one ones dot deck This is a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. Hmm. This is a May, right? It's not a May. It says that you you do that. It is the ideal subordinate. Silent, obedient perfection. Hey, Green Lennon. Yeah, this, this is what I'm up to these days. Just doing all my stream stuff. Streaming all the time. Please, no more Chain Whirlers. Seriously? A lucky shot. That's just rude. This isn't the last you've heard of me. I mean, maybe I should have... Honestly, maybe I should have just zeroed to Fairy... Or Tezzeret twice and drawn two cards. Are you certain of your decision? Where's our cleansing novas? Can't ever find them. Gotta be in here somewhere. We should discuss our I will return. At least we're gaining a lot of, like these planeswalkers are gaining us a lot of life. They're pretty good. Well, there's a cleansing nova. Now they have a phoenix. Ugh. It's just... Man, those chain whirlers just completely wrecked me. And now the phoenix is wrecking me. We, we have four Novas in the deck. It's actually like, we have four. We do have four.
No, not playing any bindings. No, Urza's Blast, like, the problem is, like, how how would we, like, even think about if we had Urza's Ruinous Blast there. Like, how are we ever casting Urza's Ruinous Blast? Um, it's pretty difficult to, to honestly, to, like, against creature decks like this, it's honest, it's pretty difficult to, to cast Ruinous Blast in this deck without anything on defense at all. Um, noticed that last time. Um, I have constructed your, my device is finished. As are yeah, you. I noticed that earlier. Like I started with two Urza Ruinous Blast, two Cleansing Novas, and I just realized, and I was just was not able to cast the Ruinous Blast too often. Um, at least we've been ultimating. Or not ultimating, but at least we've been activating Planeswalkers multiple times in a turn. Of course. Cold logic will always win. So that's cool. Um... We can figure a way out of this. Yeah, Jace, we can figure a way out of this. I agree. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. We can definitely figure a way out of this. Hmm. All right, I don't think our way out worked. A lot of creatures. A lot of really annoying creatures. So if I play Lyra and Tristani, Dovin's not doing anything here, especially against Chain Whirler. Do I want Shalai as well? Yeah, maybe we play Shalai as well. Kind of don't mind the rest of the cards that we have. Maybe I don't need Shalai. I mean, I probably do. Hmm. Sixty-one. Only gonna have five mana cards, it looks like. Only legendary creatures and planeswalkers enable the legendary sorceries, not any legendary permanent. You cannot have Search for Ascanta, um, or anything like that out. Uh, to enable it. And so yeah, I started with, like I said earlier, for y'all asking about Urza's Ruinous Blast, um, you know, I was saying it again during the last match, but I, I started with, with a couple Blasts and a couple Novas. Um, but against these kind of creature decks, it it was too difficult to have a Planeswalker in play and untap with the Planeswalker to be able to have the Blast available. Um, and so... 
And so I just moved from Blast to uh, Nova. Or sorry. Yes, yes, that's correct. Move from Blast to Nova. Hmm. Vans, our hand is very Teferiable. I do think that Urza's Ruinous Blast is quite good. Hold that thought. Um, when you're playing, when you're playing more legendary creatures and stuff, you know we have we have the Bant Legends deck that that I played on uh, on Sunday that that is playing like Urza's Ruinous Blast, and I mean I think that's a that's a good spot for us there. How it was meant to happen. Uh, this deck being like super friends and Oath of Teferi and not not playing the creatures and just playing all planeswalkers, it was kind of too difficult to fit it in, in my opinion. I can maybe find a cleansing nova somewhere. I can, you know you what? never know. I'm not done yet. You never know. We, maybe we will. Settle the Wreckage is certainly an option as well. Um, without having other instants, that's why I went with the Novas. And I, I like how Nova can destroy the enchantments against uh, the Wilderness Reclamation decks. Um... Yeah, squeeze in the Naya deck. It's only a matter of time. Keep up the pace. Yeah, we we draw zero novas even though we have four. Not finding them. I'm not interested in playing Rivers Rebuke at all. That's just not a card that's... That's just not a good card. Just have no interest in, in putting a Rivers Rebuke in a deck at all. Um, so you think we need, to, we need to play Settles as well? Yeah, the fast aggro decks are just going to kind of beat us. You know, like that's just, just kind of how it is. We we'll play two settles over that gift of paradise and one Karn. Hmm. Um. Just it's hard to play Oath of Teferi. Like so the point of this deck is to is is to try to play Oath of Teferi and a lot of planeswalkers. It's hard to do that and beat those really good fast aggro decks, like beating 
uh, mono blue aggro and that gruel aggro with like the spell breakers and stuff. It's it's hard to, honestly. Um, it's pretty difficult to do that. I mean, we could we could just play, I and mean, we could just play, you know, not play green and just play, you know, just blue white and, you know, a lot more of uh, early removal. Yeah, we could just play like a bunch of baffling ends and seal aways and just make it a blue white control, and not try to get those things out quicker. Yeah, if we were Esper, yeah, like maybe that's just the way to go. I mean, the the other part about Ban, you know, is with having all these planeswalkers, I just wanted to wanted to be able to like Druidic Vow and and put in you know like four or five planeswalkers, uh, but you know we're not going to do that against the fast aggro decks. Um, but yeah, if you're Esper, you get Kaya's Wrath, Cast Down, Mortify, Kaya herself. Um, and, you know, you can just be an, an Esper Planeswalker deck with Oath of Teferi and have Kaya's Wrath. Um, yeah, and then Cry the Carnarium and stuff like that. Yeah, but I, I was trying to something a little jankier with the Kamal's Druidic Vow. Um, with it. But, you know, be, being Esper, you're just like regular, like that's just regular Esper control. You know, like it's not like anything different. Um, yeah. And so just, just playing as, you know, like just playing all those cards just makes you as per control and it's just kind of, you know, whatever. Yeah, right? Like a, a big vow, like with an oath. We can just try running this back with these two settles and see if that helps. We can try it again. Cause yeah, I do want to see a a, a big uh, vow with with Oath of Teferi. And, and like I said before, my goal is really like with Oath of, like Oath of Teferi is a card I haven't played very much. That that one game against Mono Blue where we had Oath of Teferi in, or no, it wasn't against Mono Blue. It was against the this other deck here. Um, yeah, we're doing an O2 rerun. Ugh. Okay, this could get somewhere. This control looks pretty controlling. I kind of, so I, I, I want to flip this as Kanta kind of early because it looks like we may need to. May need a cleansing Nova, destroy all artifacts or enchantments. The grow spiral. Um, Maybe I should be keeping that, because it's just like the same. We just get the next card anyway. We're not doing anything else with that two mana. Yeah, six mana Dovin is definitely mandatory. So we could play Teferi to try to run them out of a counter spell so that our six mana Dovin could resolve. It did resolve kind of quickly. with the jank too. Four color control. That 
Some jank. I don't want to get rid of Dovin or Druidic Vow. But the problem is, is we may not... Like, if we don't hit this land drop, I'm going to feel pretty silly for getting rid of the Teferi. Maybe we just get rid of the Druidic Vow. I guess, I guess we do. Just in case. Okay, we got the land. So we're good. Alright, we got Dovin. Come on, Dovin. Get going. It's just a better Teferi. We're drawing cards, but we're gaining two life. Also, Teferi would only would draw cards and not gain life. What are we going to do with the untapping four? What are we doing with that? No, we don't. We don't have any instant speed stuff, besides. Uh, Grow Spiral. Alright, Jace, go get him. Are they your memories? Or mine? Let's think this through. We can already ultimate our Jace next turn. Yogger gifting out five subs. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, Dovin has uh, no time for a break. Has gift lines or has uh, voice lines. That gets some hype in the channel. You know what? I'm not done yet. Thank you so much, Yogger. That is gets us up to nine on the day. So it'll be pack time after this. And in fact, so congratulations to KL, KLZN, Jaded, Aguilia, Balder, Galder, Seelik, uh, and Bopa Boop. Who'd they attack? Dovin? All right, we're about to go off with these Jaces. No, we're going to make more Jaces. No, opponent. All right, I'm going to make it 10 also. I'm... MTG bot's not subbed right now. Even though I'm on even though I'm paying on the Patreon to have MTG bot always subbed, but it's not subbed for some reason, so I'm just gonna pay for an MTG bot sub here. Where's our Big Teferi? Uh, Big Teferi was one of the last cuts. Consider, definitely consider playing Big Teferi. Oh, I have the Settles in the deck? I should have taken Settles out. I, f I forgot that we were playing Settles. You know, I was just thinking about like our uh, previous version. I should have boarded out, boarded out the Settles and kept in two Novas. Grow Spiral allows me to Teferi next turn, but I really want to play this as Kanta. <laughs> Alright, Warren got us.
Got us pretty good. I wish we had a Johnny unyielding. <laughs> it's pretty close to playing like the the big Tezzeret. Um, big Tezzeret would you know could could turn like the artifacts that like Dovin or other Tezzeret could make, um, or Karn like it could turn them into five fives like these these Thopters could make five five Thopters. I don't think we need a shock so we can attack for one. You know, us attacking doesn't really matter. Hurry! Let's skip to the good part. It kind of looks like our opponent's not very good against planeswalkers. I have faced from what we've seen from our opponent. Now nah, we're going no creatures. We're not playing any rafts or, or nothing. No creatures. Yeah, Dawn of Hope seems to be the win con. Uh, Could have hit a negate. But, oh, we got another fairy. All good. Ooh, that card's cool. You may regret that choice. Do we have the mana to b do both? Not quite. I Maybe draw Jace. I hold that thought. Ah. <laughs> Ethereal absolution, no. Keep up the pace. I have a bunch of one ones that I could make. Did I know what must be done. A curious choice. Of course, we can tap. We can. Uh, we can tuck. That's why we can tuck that ethereal absolution later. I guess they they do get to make they get to make one two two. That's a that's annoying. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's let's activate all these in case we hit more of the the planeswalkers. Let's see how you respond to genius. Like with the vow. How convenient. Oh, I need oh, I need that I need that oath of Teferi. All right, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Nice, we got five Planeswalkers in play. I've never had five Planeswalkers uh, in play before. This is gonna be a first. Ah. So that's how they look. Cool. It's a matter of give and take. <laughs> this is just silly. We have a six planeswalker in here, don't we? Yeah, we got where's three mana dove in? This will aid us. This will aid us. Star of Extinction. That was our last card from the opponent. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. We're getting ready for War of the Spark here. We're we're doing some hard testing for War of the Spark standard. We're limited.
brilliance comes. There's Dovin. To me. Six. Six planeswalkers. Whatever your plan. This is a this is a first. Statistically likely to fail. <laughs> You know what? I'm not done yet. No time for a break. Hmm. Wait, how do I actually win? Wait, we need more planeswalkers. Can we get seven? Can we go seven? I had deception is key. Seven planeswalkers. This will come in handy. <laughs> they have an arrow to find more planeswalkers? What is this? When you have eight, you have to have an arrow? <laughs> it's how you play the hand you're dealt. This is crazy. Let's try this. This will come in handy. There is elegance in simplicity. I constantly seek to innovate. This will keep an eye on you. All right, uh, Playland. I can't. I can't even activate this card anymore. I'm at 14 cards in library. I mean, I can. I just don't want to. Negative card. Just the tokens just die immediately. If I neg neg two. Next turn, I can ultimate the Teferi and exile this Ethereal Absolution. Well, maybe I'll ultimate the Teferi, maybe not. We'll see. Oh, I had two creatures over there? I thought I only had one. <laughs> I obviously could have talked to that ethereal absolution earlier. And I guess I'm going to have to now. Don't make another move. Well, this is pretty sweet. We're going to be able to ultimate both of these Jaces. We we can't lose this game. But yeah, like with three with triple negate, we just can't lose this game. But we're about to make both of these Jaces will make two more Jaces, so we're going to make, you know, like these are going to turn into four Jaces. Okay, so we're going to go Jace. I'm not this should distract you. Jace. Oh, look at that. It's so <laughs> sad to watch you fight yourself. Oh. Just a normal day. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Okay. Let's make some Thopters. The ideal subordinate. Thopters. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. Draw. Draw. We need an ultimate Dovin, for sure. Thopter. I'm inspired by a good assault. Thopter. I don't enjoy seeing Elf. things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. Let's make some Karnstrucks. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Seeing is believing. Or is it? 
And illusion time. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. This should distract you. Can you really trust your eyes? Um. Oh, these get to take up some more. There's always an answer. Let's skip to the good part. It is kind of difficult to. You know, it does take a long Let's time for this. like Jace to to do all this stuff. It's a matter of give and take. All right, that's that's all I got over here, opponent. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this board looks. Oh, uh, that looks... That looks crazy. <laughs> See, that's what we get to do with this deck. Good job, deck. Alright, even if we lose the next two again, that was worth it. That was worth it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah Yager, thanks for the five gifted subs. Say that was worth the five gifted subs for sure. There you go. We had that big Kamal's Juridic Vow. Uh, helped us out there. Um, going first. Going first is usually good, but not if we don't have anything. Well, that's Mulligan. Yeah, Planeswalker Scroll Bar. <laughs> I had, I've never... I, I've only had four Planeswalkers ever in play, and I guess you can have six there, but once you have more than six, it goes to scroll bar. <laughs> that counts as 20 wins, DVH. <laughs> oh, our opponent says, hello. They're shouting timber. Uh, let's see, I need to make a thumbnail for our previous deck. Doing the gross pile right now because we may draw a land war elf. Look at that. So smart. Then we get to play it and potentially Teferi next turn. Um, downloads, thumbnails. Don't kill my land war elf. And me draw a land. Sweet. And this Teferi resolve. Sweet. Keep up the pace. Next turn. Get this oath out there. Ooh, Jeskai. Jeskai. Hurry! I mean, I guess the oath probably gets countered, right? And is that is that okay that the oath is countered? So I'm just going to grow spiral on their turn. Because I'm doing it on their turn because I would like them to counter this. And maybe they'll just like actually counter this. You never know. See? They may just randomly counter it. Hold that thought. 
Oath of Te Teferi. Oath of Teferi. Uh, let's blink this thing. We need to move quickly. I want to tap this land. Um, I don't know a best of one tier list. Uh, you can probably find you can find like best of one decks on MTG Goldfish. Um, but no, I don't. I don't know like a, a tier list. I don't play best of one myself. Unless it's a donation deck that somebody donates for. Alright, that's done there. We get to ultimate our Teferi. We're so lucky. Hurry! No, I don't get to play my Jace. Alright, so negates in. Settles out. Nova's out. Other Nova's out. Knight's in. That sounds good. Pretty easy sideboard in here. Pretty easy there. Alright, let's save this. Rakdos burns up. What we got for game two? Another pretty good hand. Yeah, we can take this. The island um, lets both these lands come into play untapped. Um, I don't think Jeskai Control usually has mass manipulation. I don't think so. So even if we draw a, I'm still gonna do it now. I don't, not really worried about anything on turn three. I was gonna say even if we draw a land war elf, you know, like how we had it like the previous turn, we didn't have another green mana. Um, anyway. See, they counter the growth spiral again. Go, Jace, go. What do I, if Jace, like if I negate to protect Jace, sure we'll do that. Do I want to minus or plus? I guess I'm supposed to minus. I'm up for a challenge. All right, you're up for a challenge. Oh, look at that. It's so sad to watch you fight yourself. Can you win a game on your own? So Druidic Vow is for Let's think this through. Do I want to Oath or Knight of Autumn? I kinda wanna just Knight of Autumn. Let's see our opponent having like negate there. So 
a little bit of a problem. All my cards are awesome. This is not even a May. You have to draw a card, then discard a card. Hmm. Yeah, even the land's awesome, because we want a Val for five. Let's get rid of the land. We can, you know, it's a good chance we draw another land. If not, we can just, like, play the Oath next turn and and wait. Start vowing. All right, come on. Let's draw a land and vow for five. Oh, yeah. All right, so ticking up first decisions, decisions, in case we hit other decisions. Jace. To fairy, Karn, land, land. We'll take those. Right on, Spanky. No time for a break. Two and zero. Oh. Hey, Bant Super Friends. All we need to do is play against our, these slow control decks, and then we can get all of our cool planeswalkers. Yeah, that's some homies right there. All right, we did, with the nine subs on the day, we did get to our uh, first sub goal earlier. Um, so let's crack a pack. Since we got there, let's get an M19. What are you getting for us, M19? Anything good? A mythic, maybe? Mythic rare? Izareth. Still a cool card. I approve. Not a bad one. I thought I already had all four of those. But I guess not. So thanks, Yager. Thanks for that. For uh, gifting out those subs. We're cracking that pack. <laughs> yeah. Druidic Vow is real disgusting with all these Planeswalkers. That's, that's like the point of our, our deck. It's just... Juridic, Juridic Vow, some Planeswalkers out. And, it, and you know, it does put all the legendary permanents, so it does put Oath of Teferi in play as well. Uh, I have not played Modern since last fall, so I, I don't know. Hey, Dr. Dr. Grindle. Uh, I have not done an Abzan Legends deck yet. No, I have not. Why did I decide to make this deck? Because I wanted to try Oath of Teferi. That's like a card that um, a lot of people kind of mention that, that I should try. And, you know, it's not in my other Legends decks. And so we're playing this to be able to play uh, Oath of Teferi. All right, we're probably dead here. I will gladly point out your on the face. shoulders of giants. Probably dead. Yeah, pay that for life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have two settles. Settle would be a great card to draw. That is true. Draw card. I know my responsibility. We need to move quickly. That's your responsibility, moving quickly. We got our, our little Thopter token chilling here on D. Little Thopter token's like, don't mind me.
tribunal. I really should have seen that coming. All right, well. I can like play another Teferi and tuck the tribunal and get the original Teferi back, but that one doesn't that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. Doesn't seem too necessary to, to tuck that other right tribunal. On schedule. You know what? I'm not done yet. There's there's a ton of cards we could play to, to stop early aggression. Um, I I wouldn't I don't think deploy. Deposed deploys would be too good, though. I mean, I think you just play, like, Baffling End, Seal Away, stuff like that. Um, all right, they're down to 14. I keep making them pay this life. Stop that. Now. We have we have beaten the slower control decks. Um, but we're losing, you know, losing to the aggro decks, though. Hold that thought. Man, where's these settled wreckages? If I play Dovin. Yeah, I can still have Settle Up. Okay, draft Demon Lord Bells Unlock. All right, I'll make sure to it's take it. To be a genius surrounded and the omniscient draft. Yeah, that, that'll be something that's a little different. Uh, trying that out later. I like having the growth spiral in hand here. It at least acts like a an instant, where maybe the you know, like that stops and everything, and things aren't just like auto resolving and like telling my opponent I don't have anything. We'll see how scared they are of settle, if at all. And it looks like not at all. Settle the wreckage. Ah, so close. What are you protecting that night? Can't be denied. Feet. I am beaten. So do I do I risk it and, and play the card and try to tick up and hit a land drop? I guess they'd still have the two vanguards. Like even, even if I do that, I guess there's not a ton of upside because uh, the vanguards just kill the Karn. Yeah, like we're dead if, if we miss the land. There's just not a whole lot of upside, I suppose. It's 
They're down to eight. Can't activate these vanguards too much more. Get get another tribunal or get another uh, cleansing nova. That'd be good. We got our six sweepers for a reason. Even though we haven't drawn them too well. Hmm. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Man, Hunted Witness was a great card for them to draw. So I can play like Dovin and tap this this four three for next turn, but now they get that Hunted Witness pairs with the uh, the first four to have lethal. So I guess my only thing to do is Karn tick up. Dovin tick up, gains us two life and goes to ten, but that that thing kills us. We would have got the land though with, with the help of Karn. Karn. So if we would have played the Karn, we would have got the land. They would have like attacked the Karn here, maybe kept us alive a little bit. Are you certain of your decision? No, you can't get the big Dovin from Pax. Yeah, we would have definitely got that that land with the Karn. Um, but it looked like our next few cards were pretty bad as well. All right, playing against aggro. Sideboard coming on in. Keep like one of those. Uh, take that card out, that card out. I don't know. Do I really want Karn? Best thing Karn does compared to Tezzeret um, is that it costs four and not five like all these other fives. We did a pretty decent job of staying alive that last game. Yeah, we needed Karn into two settles or, or settle Cleansing Nova. You know, we needed both our cards to be settles or Cleansing Novas. All right, let's get some lands. Yeah. <laughs> That's what our planeswalkers do. They just gain us life and let us survive for a little while. But we needed, you know, more more sweepers than one. Um, we almost almost killed them. Like through, like the vanguards, they weren't gonna be able to protect the vanguards much more. They were at eight. It was close. Help us hit land drops. Graveyard. Do I want to just play a four three? I kind of want to just play a 4-3. Yeah, I'm going to play a 4-3. The cleansing, like, even even if we hit the white mana, which is not a guarantee, but, you know, we have, like, the gross problem, the, the search for his Ganta, but even if we hit the white mana, um, cleansing Nova doesn't do a whole lot, like, with the bodyguard saving the, the Snubhorn Sentry.
All right, so now we probably wait till next turn to Nova. And then Lyra, we want to block the bodyguard. Yeah, like we want to trade with bodyguard if possible. Uh, now they have blue mana, so now they have counter magic. That can certainly be a problem. I guess we'll kind of see if they have negate. Yeah, they probably have negate. At least we're not dead. We have another chance next turn. If they played two more things, we're dead. Good. So close to dying. So close to dying, but not quite. Boom. Alright, what you got for your last two cards? Now three cards. Land. Tribunal. Go, Lyra, go! Ugh. No. 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 I need, I need my Knight of Autumn back. Come on, deck. Whoo, baby. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me that Lyra back. And now we have Ascanta going. Attack. Just gain this life before you can change your mind. We'll just gain more life with this Knight of Autumn. Ooh. That'll be a fun card to play next turn. No, my Lyra! Alright, well that means that our... Can't cast the Kamal's Dirge Vow now. All right, we gotta have like a Planeswalker in here somewhere. Like we haven't seen a Teferi yet. Uh, I guess we'll take this though. It's not a Planeswalker, but I suppose it'll do. All four Cleansing Novas. Got to find the fourth. Ugh. It's the problem with that one three. You know, the one three takes something, but then it just dies to the sweeper kind of thing and get it back. Yeah, now we have all of the all of the novas. When we draw Novas, we really draw Novas. Yeah, it only took four Novas to win. It only took us being on the play and four Novas. And us, like, going down to, like, you know, almost dying. <laughs> yeah, we have... We have Jason here and, and everything, but unfortunately we had to we had to sideboard out um, 
a lot of our planeswalkers in our in this aggro matchup. We cut their hand real quick. Yeah, it took Lyra to stick, but that's because we needed the Nova to dis to destroy their Conclave Tribunal to make Lyra stick. So we needed that, you know, one of those Novas. We just needed all the Novas. Stop having Vanguard. Stop with that Vanguard opponent. That's rude. You know that? That's rude. Mono tap land on the draw. Not a good spot. Play this thing. Could play the Land of War Elf and trade with the Sky Marcher Aspirant. Should be able to kill that thing in a little bit. I, I really want to find Settle. Hey, there's a Settle. Speaking of Settle, once I thought the Ascanta could help us find that. Guess we would have played the Land of War Elf the previous turn. If only they didn't have Vanguard. If only Cleansing Nova actually worked. beat our opponent having anything you know they have counter magic we can't win how they shocked in with that hallowed fountain did let them have the adanto activation with negate so it's just like you know just pretty pretty likely that they have negate it's unfortunate negate's a killer Gates a killer. All right, so we're 0 and 3 now against fast aggro decks. Uh, 2 and 0 against control decks. So, so we want to face the slow decks. Don't want to face the fast decks with our um, oh, I got stuff. Negate should be a rare. <laughs> Man, Negate would be really expensive if, if Negate was a mythic. I think if, like, Duress was a mythic, how every single deck has, like, Duresses and Negates in the sideboard. I guess Negate's probably the most played card in Standard overall. Yeah, I think it is. Uh-oh. Not an aggro deck. We're on the draw too. We have 12 tap lands and 12 shock lands. Our last eight lands have all been tap lands. Just saying. Hey, cool hogs. I'm glad you're enjoying the the Bant familiar deck there. Last nine lands have been tap lands. Nine tap lands in a row. Let's 
settle. We don't even have the land for settle anyway. I guess so. That allows the Cleansing Nova to come into play untapped next turn. So we finally got a finally got a shock land. I'm I'm impressed anyone would be so assault. foolish as to face me. This can block the Pyromancer. Obviously, if they have a spell, we're dead. Obviously. Um, just kind of how it is. They could shoot my token and attack Dovin. Wow. They let me block? They just let me block first? And then shot it? What if we don't die? I can benefit from another success. What if we just don't die? Hey, cool. You're having fun with the Slimefoot combo deck? Um... Well... Yeah? Big question is if I want to just cast this Temporal Sundering right now. Um... Or if I want to, like, play Teferi or Karn first. What if I Druid Cloud for four? No. I advise that you Oh, that got my blood pumping. Evil cannot withstand a right. We get the card in play. Alright, see ya, Karn. Again, that's... If they're lightning striking Karn, they're not lightning striking me. So I'll count that as a win. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's skip to the good part. This one's looking... Actually, it's like looking good for us now. I think we're gonna win this. Well, let's see. Like, if they t just top deck, you know, all burn, you know, burn spells over and over and over again, maybe not. Um, Val for five or Keep Sundering? Up the Val for five. I didn't come here not to play Kamal's Druidic Vows. I need more Planeswalkers in play. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotta have some more Planeswalkers before we take another turn. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. Alright, we can... Draw another card. You know what? I'm not done yet. Make an illusion. Deception is key. And tick up. Let's try this. Attack with this thing. Loot. Uh, get rid of this. I hope they don't find like I don't know, like a some burn spell that kills me, like a bane fire or something. All right, got the game. Oath of Teferi. Too strong. Also, Jace cunning castaway. Our opponent looked at Jace, conceded. Alright, all 15. All 15's coming in. Ooh, gain two life? Clutch. Um, you can go... Um... You can go... 
You can go. You can go. So this is 66. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Val. You can go. Um, 63. Sixty-one. Maybe sixty. Do I want to cut the Tezzeret or the third Cleansing Nova? That's probably the Tezzeret. Yeah, Big Dovin's pretty sweet. You can tap down a, a large Hydroacrasis for a turn. It can be some removal. Yeah, like Dovin like gains two and draws a card. So keeping keeping Dovin because of that. Um, we are keeping. I don't think I'm shocking though. Yeah, we can shock for Lanowar Elf, but shocking is just kind of a bad idea. Hey, thanks, Yud. Yeah, so Bant, Bant refers to the colors. Um, so this is a... And the gates. This is a blue, green, and white deck. So that's what the, the Bant part's called. And it's called Super Friends because it's um, all sorts of Planeswalkers. So that's what the Super Friends part is referring to. Lots and lots of Planeswalkers. We can have Lyra next turn, and we got Negate for our Lanowar Elf. Yeah, we're gonna need that Lyra carry. Yeah, opponents had a really nice hand here. Next turn, I can have like Teferi tuck the field or something. Down to one. One's not zero. Maybe I don't actually tuck. No, I'll probably just tick up. Probably just draw. This isn't a we need to move quickly. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with AB. I guess he nicks the trade to buff. Like, I mean, he's like, no, I won't play for you. And he's like, all right, we're going we're gonna to trade you to this team. No, I won't play for that team. It's just... It's, come on, man. Hold that thought. Um, I think I'm attacking again. You know, we can block the Pyromancer. Nah, I agree. I'm, I'm looking forward to not having the drama. That's a good one. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, Hawkeye. We did it. We beat an aggro deck. They just turned out to just only be a burn deck, and we had a whole lot of life gain. And so it was a lot better for us. Ooh, we got 20 gems to be rewarded.
Oh, okay, you're not on camera? There you go, is that better? Mm, not really. More Hawkeye. There you go. More you. I'll keep this going first. I mean, we don't have anything to do the first three turns, but... You know, our deck doesn't have a whole lot to do early on in the game anyway. Hey, you okay? You okay, bud? Which land should we play first? Oh, no. Mono Red's a little easier for us to beat because of all the life gain we have, and like you know, they have turned their spells into to damage and everything, uh, where we our life gain can trade with some of those spells. Mono Blue is like the the deck we're never we're just we're never going to beat Mono Blue. Well, we we can, I guess, but yeah, mono blue and mono white, those are going to be harder. All right, well, our slow hand slash slow deck doesn't look so good against like the creature aggro here, but we have we have six sweepers for a reason. We got six sweepers in the deck. We can draw any of them. There you go. That's that's a sweeper. That's a sweeper though. That'll play. Evil must well chosen. Now give me that settle. Give me that settle. Basically using Karn as like a, a way to gain a lot of life. Yeah, they'll probably kill Karn now they see that settle. The real Horatio. Ah, the real Horatio. Sub number 10 on the day. Not every fight can end in victory. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for resubbing there for the third month. Like, you just thought you needed another creature on the battlefield? The the four weren't good enough? They do get a couple 1-1s, one don't they? Oh, no, no. Thorn Lieutenant only gives you 1-1s one whenever you target it, not when it dies. We gained six life with Karn because our opponent attacked Karn for six instead of attacking us for six. I won't hide from the world any longer. So that's that's how we effectively gain six life with the card. All right, next turn, Val for six. If I Teferi tuck this Thorn Lieutenant, the Thorn Lieutenant would makes a 1-1 whenever you target it, so it just it would make a 1-1 that would kill the Teferi. So I can Val for 6. I should probably tuck here, though. Reverse. Be a little more safe. I could do 5, and then... Yeah, I guess I could just do five, and then we definitely have this land war elf to still block. You know, just in case. Ooh, good thing I did. That's just a bunch of lands. And there are a bunch of shock lands, too, so we don't even get to play the Ascanta. That just means we're even closer to another sweeper or another Val. Think how good like the six mana Dovin would be. Tick up, gain two life, draw a card. That's like a sweet tick up. Uh oh. Rut row. A 
Netherland? Keep up the pace. Where are like the where are the spells? Aren't there like spells around in this deck somewhere around? Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's take it back. Well, we can. All right, they drew a land. We can stay at one. Chump this harpooner. Oh, Thor Lieutenant ability. No. No. Elf gonna kill me. All right. Uh, mono green, huh? Maybe play some Lyra's against Mono Green. Yeah, that's pretty unlucky with the the um, Val kind of never hitting anything. I think the biggest thing I regret that game. One thing that we could have done and probably would have won if I would have done is I think I should have just minus two Karned instead of ticking up. Obviously, you know, we saw the settle that we got exiled because of the tick up, so we would have drawn that settle. Um, but then also just, like, it would have forced them to attack Karn with a little bit more because we would have had, like, a blocker. I think that was that was the thing. That's where I messed up that game. That vow was pretty awful, though. But see, if we have if we have a Planeswalker and an Oath of Teferi out, and then we Temporal Sundering, we get to activate that Planeswalker like a million times. It's just like it's just like automatic, automatic ultimate. We'll see if our opponent can beat Alira. It's not looking like we're having anything else yet. Okay. Can they beat Alira? They may have boarded out Harpooner. And for Harpooner to work, they'd have to have enough creatures in the graveyard. All right, I guess Cleansing Devil will put those creatures in the graveyard, though. So play the forest there to you know to hold up the settle. We we took a little bit less damage. Hmm. Opponent didn't play anything. They're certainly acting like they got something for this Lyra here. Maybe Assassin's Trophy. I could see them like boarding in Assassin's Trophies. They kind of like kill all our planeswalkers and stuff. Oh, they did have a harpooner. Still, one for, you know, trades one for one and gains his five life. Solid trade. Planeswalker. I'm drawing a card here, um, because they could have the assassin's trophy. You need to, you know, draw towards something else. Also, Do we don't, we don't really need a one-one. Think you can keep up with me? I am glad they're letting us get the basic out of our deck first before we draw. That's good for us. I know how this ends. 
Oh yeah, love me some rat -tat. At least this song here. We have been really good at hitting our land drops in this match. All right, no more lands. Deck, you're doing a You're doing okay. Don't really need any more lands. It's basically a land. <laughs> Yeah, the vow's got to be pretty good if we ever get if we ever get to cast a vow. Uh, if we ever get to cast it. Jeez. So that's what they're saving in their hand. And we're dead. Ever since after that Tezzeret got Assassin's Trophy, every draw was just land or land or else. Dang. Those are two two disappointing games of us just like you know just flooding out. Uh, both of those losses there. That's pretty unfortunate. I think that we have a good matchup there. Uh, especially with six sweepers. Um, maybe bringing in the Lyra was wrong. I think the game one I needed to minus two the Karn. And then maybe the maybe that last game I just shouldn't should not have brought in Lyra at all. And just kept uh, you know, whatever other planeswalker I took out, you know, kept like a Dovin Architect of Law in or something. Like this minus one's kinda good. Yeah, maybe I should have kept in Dovin and you know, and other other stuff. Um, yeah, so, so kind of feel like I, I did, a, you know, slight, slight miscalculations on both those games. The game one, um, should have minus two the Karn and, and I kind of think, I don't think I should have brought in Lyra's after sideboarding. Just have all sweepers and planeswalkers. So... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, beat mono red, but lost the mono green. Um, yeah, news about War of the Spark. Yeah, War of, War of the Spark is gonna have a Planeswalker every booster pack. That's what we were. That's what we're doing here. We're practicing War of the Spark uh, standard. You know, with our all of our Planeswalkers. You know, we're we're trying to to practice for that. Um, I don't know if I. I don't think I would want to really wait on the other Nova because my opponent had a six six already in play that they could have just start. You know, kept attacking with the six six. If I knew I was just drawing Llanowar Elves, then I would have then I would have waited because the Llanowar Elves could chump block. But we can't just like sit there and take six for a while. There's no there's no reason for the opponent to play any more creatures when they have a six six that's killing us. Um, so I don't regret playing that Nova when I did. Um, obviously, if I like I said, if I knew I was just going to be top decking Llanowar Elf, Llanowar Elf, you know, number two and number three after that, I would have waited. Uh, Mox Amber is not good. No. Um, you just Mox Amber doesn't get turned on until really late, and by that time it doesn't matter. You need the mana acceleration early. You don't need mana. You don't need mana acceleration late after you already have Planeswalkers in play. It's just not not a card you need. All right, so that's uh, Bant Super Friend. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.